हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू आवर चैनल एंड इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सब्सटीट्यूशन इन शेल स्क्रिप्टिंग सो इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव सीन ऑल अबाउट हाउ टू कंट्रोल द शेल लुप्स बाई यूजिंग द लुप कंट्रोल स्टेटमेंट बट इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी वॉट आर द एग सब्सटीट्यूशन एंड हाउ वी कैन इम्प्लीमेंट दैम इन अवर स्क्रिप्ट सो बेसिकली द शेल परफॉर्म्स सब्सटीट्यूशन वेन इट एंड काउंटर्स एन एक्सप्रेशन दैट कंटेंस one or more special characters so here in this example the printing value of the variable is substituted by its value and same time backslash n is substituted by the new line but here we have to use the hyphen e option which will enable the interpretation of this backslash escapes so whenever we execute this command it will act backslash n as a new line substitution but if we didn't use hyphen e then it will act as a string items and it will print it along with our string so these are the following escape sequences that you can use and incorporate them into the echo command so here you can see the backslash new len that we have seen in the previous example the carriage return backspace horizontal tab vertical tab and form fit so this escape sequences you can use effectively as per your requirement into the echo command so we can use the hyphen capital e option to disable the interpretation of the backslash escapes and we can also use the hyphen n option to disable the insertion of the new line now let us discuss about the two types of substitution in shell scripting the first one is a command substitution and second one is a variable substitution so first let us discuss about command substitution so the command substitution is nothing but a mechanism which the shell scripting performs a given set of commands and then substitute their output in place of that commands so let's consider if you want to store the result of any command into a variable we can do that by using this command substitution all we have to do is write down your command in the back text and assign it to some variable so here as you can see we have assigned the date command to our date variable by using this back text as you can see here so this will be the syntax of the command substitution similarly you can also store the result of ls hyphen l into some variable by using this command substitution method let us discuss this substitution with some simple example For this example I have created one file named command.sh and I have implemented the command substitution in it let me show you its contents so the file name is command.sh and as you can see so in this example we have substituted the output of date command into this variable named date also we have substituted the output of ls command which is nothing but listing command into this users variable and the date and up time is stored in this up variable and we have printed them for your understanding and we have also used the hyphen e along with backslash n escape sequences for appearing the result into new line let us execute this script for your better understanding but before that don't forget to give the executable permission to our file i have already did it so let me execute then dot slash command dot sh so as you can see it is printing the date as we have substituted the output of date command into our variable and as you can see the list of items are present in the directory r and we have used the hyphen n which will allow us to get the output in the new line so as you can see in the new line you can see all the items present in our working directory and after that it is showing the up time so this is the up time for which we have used the up time command and we have stored it into the up variable so this is how you can implement the command substitution for storing the output of any command into the newly created variable and the another type of substitution is variable substitution so as the name suggests variable substitution will enable us 
to manipulate the value of variable based on its state. So here in this table are the possible substitution for our variables. So for the first example it will substitute the value of a var. It is very simple. In the second one let's consider if the var which is variable is null or unset the word which we have given here is substituted for var and the value of var will be unchanged. For the third one if the var is null or unset then the var is set to the value of word. For the next example if the var is again null or unset then the message is printed to standard error. So this will check that the variables are set correctly or not. And in the last example if the variable is set this word will be substituted for the var and the value of var will not change. Let us discuss this by using one simple example. So for this example I have created one script called a substitution.sh. Let me show you its content. So substitution.sh. So as you can see I have used the variable substitution in this script. So for the first example if the variable is null or unset then the word is substituted for where and the value of where will not change. So as you can see we haven't set the where variable earlier. So in this case the apple is substituted for the where and the value of where will not change. For the next example if the where is null or unset then the where is set to the value of word. So in this case we haven't set the value of where. Therefore, the where is set to oranges. It will print the same result. For the next example, we have unsetted the value of where. So in this case, the word will be substituted for where and the value of where will not change. For the next example, we have set the value of where as kiwi. But in this case, the kiwi is substituted for the where and the value of where does not change. And for the last example, let's consider if the var is null or unset, then the message is printed to the standard error. And this will check that the variables are set correctly or not. So let me execute this script. So for executing just dot slash substitution dot sh. So as you can see, this is the output of our script. I will attach this script and also the result in the description below to get you the full understanding of this concept so that you can easily practice and learn this more effectively. So I hope you got the clear idea what are the shell substitutions in shell scripting and we have also seen what are the escape sequences and how we can use it into our echo command as well as we have seen the two types of substitutions which are command substitution and the variable substitution with some simple examples so that you will get a better understanding of this concept. So if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates. And don't forget to follow us on our social media that I have linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.